If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the interview show. I'm here with Dave. Can you see your last name again? Yes, it's Dave Drugenti. Drugenti. Nice, nice Sicilian boy. Yeah. Anyhow, so he That's developed right. a, 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 a web app called Life Blink, and he's based in Philadelphia um, and Cherry Hill, right? Yeah, I live in Cherry Hill, but I'm situated over at Venture Forth. Oh, uh, very cool. Yeah, I live yeah. at Venture Forth. Between you know, seven and Weinberger. Eight. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's great. Night. He's awesome. We're trying to get him on the show, but he, he talking about the guy who, who was working on the internet before the internet was around. He was doing something way before that. Yeah. So what is like, who are you? What's your background? Yes. Uh, I, you know, uh, I am a, uh, basically a graphic designer and a, uh, marketing advertising agency guy. Uh, I was a creative director and about eight years ago is when I got into technology. I mean, I was in the technology earlier building websites but to become a uh, entrepreneur about eight years ago I started my first company and now I'm on my second company called LifeBlink. What was your first company? First company was, was called the Hero Network. Um, the, the grant, yeah, yeah it, it, it was pretty big. I, in 2006 I, I, I started building it and I launched it in 2007. It was the, the precursor to crowdfunding. I called it social helping. Uh, I called myself the grandfather of, of uh, crowdfunding. Uh, I came out years before Kickstarter, GoFundMe, Indiegogo, and it basically took one person in need and connected them uh, with people who can help. And uh, we granted over 200,000 wishes, uh, and wow. I've, I've got quite quite a uh, good record of... Uh, is it still out there? It's still out there, but the, the company has, has been uh, dissolved and the assets have been sold off. Okay, so it's, it's kind of in the ether somewhere. You there? Yeah, it, it's still out there. You know, the, the pieces will be used uh, in, in other sites and stuff like that, some of the programming that we put in place. Well, that's good. I mean, that's, that's the whole idea. Iterate, you know, grow, learn from, your, learn from different things that you do. So what is LifeBlink? LifeBlink is a, uh, it's a personal historic timeline that captures your most important moments. That's very cool. So just the important moments in your life. Yes, it's a, it's a simplified version of your life and your Facebook and your Twitter and your Instagram. It's a, a social network for people who don't want to be on a social network, kind of. Yeah, so it's like a, almost like a photo album of like the big parts of your life. That's exactly right. Because generally what's happening is uh, people don't have a whole lot of time to be on 10,000 different social networks. But you still may want to record your life. Absolutely. And, uh, right, you want to document all the, the major highlights and major points. And so... Uh, uh, you need some sort of record uh, on the that you've been on the planet and what you've done. You don't need people don't need to see everything you've done. They don't need to care if they, you went to Starbucks this morning or if you're going some to uh, go some and play in the snow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So some people may care. That's right. You know, for those people, you can go and uh, snap your photo and stick it on Instagram. You know, yeah. and uh, you know, it's usually 13 year old girls who like to share that stuff. But uh, exactly. you know, and so as I saw that when you sign in, you do have integration with Google Plus. Um, it says you can do email, of course, and Facebook, and Facebook, and LinkedIn. And, uh, and LinkedIn yes, now, so you can easily tie, sign up. Can you share it on takes that you ten network? seconds to sign up. Can you share on that network on those networks as well? Yes. So right. When you helpful. create a moment, we we call them blinks, uh, the mm -hmm. moments, whatever those may be. Whether you're buying a car, graduating from school, getting married, having a kid, uh, getting a house, whatever those major moments are, uh, you can select from a bunch of categories 
and put those out. And then uh, when the blink goes up, you could share it through your network. You put it on Twitter, Facebook, you know, email a friend, and people can comment and like those blinks. Okay, now, now how, so let's say, why would someone use you over Facebook? Like, what's, what's the benefit of this? I mean, I guess people who don't use Facebook, obviously, it's yeah. a great place. So, like, why would I use you guys instead of using just putting it on Facebook? Yeah, I don't look at this as a competition with Facebook. I mean, there's certain things that uh, – there's definitely overlays, but I think there's overlays with, uh, with us with Twitter, with us with Instagram, Absolutely, with yeah. us with – you know, there's, uh, because we're, we are on there and there's a social to it. But, but the difference is Facebook is conversation. You go it on there, much. it's extremely the, the Your Facebook has – the wall and you post up everything you know whether you're arguing with your your brother you know to like i said to uh you know you ran out of milk whatever you're posting it's it's a daily conversation but at the end of the game here in your life no one's going to look back on your facebook and say well let me see what he's done because what's what's happened it's been filled with too much junk now oh, facebook has, has the ability incredible. to capture those moments and those highlights but it, it you know it's it's the same reason you, you don't for your uh, for a fancy dinner, you don't just say, "Let me go to McDonald's." They're a restaurant; they sell stuff. But if you want to go out and have a real piece of meat, you go to a nice steakhouse, right? Absolutely. Uh, it's the same thing. Facebook is great; it does a little bit of everything. There's games on there, and there's lots of conversation. You can do, join a bunch of groups and follow a lot of people. But this is a personal, historic timeline that captures the most important moments of your mo uh, of your life. It weeds out all the other junk that Facebook can't seem to weed out. There's, there's another question for you. So you're saying end of life? You know, Facebook just released their end of life whole protocol. So they, when you die, right. you can grant a person a you know executor you know, the right to your page. What kind of That's stuff right. do you have in in, um, in place for that? Because I mean, you're saying this is your this is your life. This is a timeline of your life. When you were born, you know, your kid was born, and you can set it up so that it's like kind of, this is my timeline. How, that's right. What do you have in place for when the person, unfortunately, croaks? Yes, that's right. Uh, well, we, well there's, we actually start at the beginning of life and go to the end of life, right? Yeah. And so, uh, for instance, on Facebook, uh, if, if she said, hey, we're having a kid, right? You would put all your kid stuff on your timeline, you know, yeah. and all their milestones. Hey, they're, they've walked and got teeth and this and all that sort of stuff, right? Yes. Uh, but what happens is their life becomes your life, and they don't have uh, an account yet because it can't technically be on Facebook. On our system, we start the life off from day one. So not only does the mom sign up, but she can create an account for her baby and then go and document her baby separately from herself. And then so uh, towards the end of life, or actually I should say towards the middle of life when the kid's old enough, whether it's 10 years old, 18, or 30, doesn't make a difference. You can transfer that life to them uh, by simply clicking the transfer button, and then they can take it over. So a person can have all the moments uh, from their, you know, from their birth, the first birthday, on to getting their first bike, uh, all the way up until they can control it so they can start controlling their life. And after they pass on, uh, um, uh, we don't have it where you can give it off to someone else, but you won't need to hand it off to someone else uh, because it's already captured your most important moments. Uh, and uh, it, we can, it, we'll, we could easily put the ability in to do that. But what you want to do is, you know, someone documents the, the highlights of their life, and uh, you know, maybe there's a final thing that uh, the, the son or daughter, because it's family related, can go and uh, put up a final post on that person's life. All right. So here's here's another question. Since obviously you have a long goal for this product, you know, a yes. lot of average lifetime is what 80 years, 70, 80 years. 78, yeah. Yeah, um, last time I checked, the startup scene in Philadelphia has only been really around since 2000, maybe maybe at most 30 years, give or take, um, with CD Now going way back then. It, what kind of exportability do you have? People bought all their, all, their, all their images in here, all their content in here, you know, their, their, their timeline. What kind of exportability do you have for people who say, look, you know, you, let's say, let's say you are, you're acquired by Google. You know, that's not a bad exit, yeah. you know. You know, yeah. for you. But let's say people don't want to be with Google, or let's say Google, you know, does one of their famous um, Aqua hires. Great for you. You know, it's awesome. You're now working for Google. You know, and making a lot of money. But like, what? That's what is the exportability for it? Is there a way right to export? 
there's no way to re-export out your, your life at the moment. Uh, I, but I don't see, I think if someone uh, purchases it, I don't think they're going to integrate it with, uh, Google's not going to take it and say, okay, good, let's just add this into the Google Plus. For Facebook purchases it, they're not going to say, great, let's just take their content, throw it over there. They kind of have all this content already. The, the goal is to create a separate silo for your important moments. Uh, so someone can go, it, it's, uh, think of it as, a, as the, the new Wikipedia, Wikipedia 2.0, where mm -hmm. it, it, you can go there, it, but it's designed around photos and videos Absolutely. as opposed to just a bunch of words that go together. So uh, I also say, think of this as Ancestry.com, but for the living. So I don't think uh, like any of the big players, I, I think they would love to buy this thing. And uh, I think what would happen is uh, they wouldn't uh, take it and dismantle it and, and integrate it into their well, conversation. Well, they exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it, I think it lives on. I think this lives on as a, a historical document to all mankind. What's going to happen for hundreds of years? It's life blink will be where you go to check up all human race. Well, all right, that, those are very lofty goals. This uh, is this, awesome. That's great. This is the most massive goal that any human has ever attempted to go for. I mean, uh, uh, like I said, it, it's documenting all human history. And unlike uh, a Facebook or anything else out there, this goes forward and reverse. So you can go and build out a life link for your parents and things like that. What people don't realize is that the internet is really, 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 really young, right? You yeah, think, you think, yeah. oh, it's been around 20 years. Humans don't know what to do with it yet. Right now, it's a toy. It's like we discovered fire and we're just lighting the trees on fire. You know, we're just running around like maniacs. Snapchat and Vine and all these mm -hmm. things that people are just conversing with and think, that, wow, this is cool, this is cool. I'm looking at the greater good, the greater goal of man, which is how do you document, document everybody on the planet mm -hmm. and, and what they've done? Now, I know you get the Census Bureau, and they, they'd probably say, well, we know how many people are in the U.S., and then we know how many women and how many men. But I'm saying the details are being lost. Photo albums are disappearing. Absolutely, Documents yeah. and, and scriptures are going away. We've only had 20 years with the Internet. We've only had 10 years with Facebook. And our network will go and document your history, your kid's history, but you can also put your parents and anything that, that may be lost in the future. We have to put this online on a cloud-based server that will last forever because you're the only one who's going to know about your parents. Yeah, now who, now who owns this, their data? Do we own our data? And like, how, what's the privacy policy for this? The privacy policy is, well, everything goes up and it's uh, part of uh, the, the LifeLink network. Yes. Um, uh, but uh, there's public and, and private blinks. Uh, that you can put. So there's some things that you'd say, oh, great, start at my uh, Philly Tech show, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, got a new job or got married. Those are things that you say, okay, I'm proud. People could see those. Maybe it might be other things, you know, yeah, 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 your first baby pick where you're in the, you know, bathtub. you're naked in the bathtub, right? You're like, okay, you know, my first pick, I want to save that, but I don't think I need to have everyone see that. So you can keep that for just you or just you. So uh, you can, so the, the, uh, all the information goes up is, is, is part of the, we have the same policy other uh, social network. All right, now how about COPPA or COPA or whatever the heck that is, the Children Online Privacy, I don't know what, you know, the one where you can't be part of something until you're 13. How are you protecting kids online like, to make sure that, you know, they're safe? Because, I mean, that's, obviously parents that's are right, billing you know, this out. And that's still, yeah. it's. Obviously parents are billing this out, which is great, you know. But, you know, if anything before 13, you really are going to be in yeah. a whole world of hurt if you don't do it right. Like, what, what's your plan on that? The plan around that is the parents are in control. You know, the parent goes and says, you know, uh, we're taking kids from birth. It's, we have the, I always say we have the youngest user group in the, in the history of the world, which is, you, uh, you know, the, the the day they were conceived, right? Yes. <laughs> you know, they said, guess what, everybody? I'm pregnant, you know? So, the, the, you know, they're the usually... Uh, uh, hopefully, that's when, hopefully that's when they announce. And not like, hey, we guess just, what? Is that, we're, yeah, that's we're right. trying, you know? So, yeah, exactly. Hey, some people may do that. You never know what people put up there. But, you know, so the parents are going to be in control of the lives of the kids, right? Uh, the, the, what we'll put in place is that you can't transfer it over to a child until they're 13. So they, they won't be able to, to uh, control their own life. After that, you know, and, and most of the time, they, they got, uh, they're not, they don't need to have that, you know, uh, in place before then anyway. They're not doing that much. But around 13 is when they start, you know, 
being part of uh, soccer or music groups or doing stuff that they want to start tracking their thing, uh, th their whole life and their moments, you know. So, uh, you know, and, and like I said, some parents might not even give it to their kid until they're 18 or 20. It's the only way she can gift it when they graduate high school or something. You know, when, you know, most kids... Like, yeah. It's a, it's a scrapbook of their life. And, you know, most kids, you know, think about when you're a teenager. You're like, history, who cares about that? I mean, everything right now that a teenager does is, is, is um, uh, from a memory standpoint, is worthless, right? Mm -hmm. My daughter. It's so I, young. It's like, yeah. uh, now, like, we're, I'm, how old are you? Like, 30s? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm 44. Actually. Oh, well, you look great for your age then. This year. My, my, my point being is I'm, I'm 33, and like, you know, we I have, know. I have 33 it's, years worth of it's, life. It's under Italian me. blood. It makes it's me... Italian blood, yeah. But my point being is like, we have a lot, you know, behind us to document. Whereas my kid's two, you know, he's like, I could get this done in a day for him. Right. Yeah. I may actually you know, have to start and, doing that. <laughs> and most of, the most, uh, most of the important parts of your life, you don't realize what life is about until you get a little bit older, right? When you're 13, you, you can care less about anything. You know, that's, like, my daughter's biggest concern is, you know, how many Snapchats she got today. You know, it, like, that's, that's her, uh, uh, her, her, her biggest um, uh, issue in life right now. But as you get older, you start realizing, wait a second, I'm on on a planet and I'm doing stuff, you know, by 18, you're like, well, I'm going to college and I got to start to figure out my career. And then you get into college and you start taking life a little bit serious and then you get a job and, you know, and you fall in love and you get married and you have kids. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, wait, I see what's going on here. We're living on the planet. I am a human being. We're reproducing, you know, like it, 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 it's, it's bigger than the internet. You know, yeah, you so don't realize honestly, that when you're, you're 13. Nowadays, everything's getting hacked. Everything gets hacked, you know, like if you don't yeah. get hacked, you haven't made it pretty much. Like if you don't get yeah. hacked at least once, what are what is your security like on a, on a 30,000 foot level? Because I don't want to know the details, so you got to keep that kind of secret. But like what's your, what's your plan for backups and for making sure that, because people are putting their, I mean they're spending their time, time is money, you know, they're putting their time into this, and you know. Oh yeah. I mean, what's yeah. what, you know, what's this, keeping them, from, you know, they're, they're either doing this or they're doing, you know, a Snapfish book, you know. That, that, that's that's right. You know, uh, the, the great thing about being uh, smaller is uh, you're not on the radar. You don't have it. You know, there's no reason to hack it uh, as of yet, right? The, and this goes for all the startups uh, who have content of whether it's photos you're storing or or information or whatever it may be. So you're, you're not going to be on the radar. But as we as we all grow and uh, you have very, very important content on your site. Uh, you become susceptible to that. Uh, right now, we have a, a security team, and I have a, a technician who, who's who's very um, uh, into uh, security features and things like that. And um, uh, is it the world's best? I wouldn't say yet because we don't need it at, at this moment. Uh, but, but within the next six months, uh, we're going to be using some of the most advanced security uh, possible because we have moments of people's lives. It's it's the most important thing that anyone could ever upload to the internet, which is their moments. What's that? Two-factor authentication, you think? You're going to implement that? Yeah, oh, that, that'll be a part of it, too. I, I, I think, think two-factor. It's a pain in the butt, but it's needed. Yeah, I, I think that we're going to, you know, it's something, security, even with my, my old tech company, was always the first priority. Matter of fact, the first people I hired uh, was a security person. I said, okay, you know, we, we need to make the site safe because if people don't have uh, confidence in the site safety, you, no matter how great the product is, uh, you know, it, it, people just won't use it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So Dave, where can people find you online? Obviously, LifeBlank, but um, like, yeah. where can they find you on Twitter, Facebook, all the other platforms? Sure, sure. I mean, if you put, the, we're under LifeBlink under everything on, on Twitter, it's LifeBlink Inc. Uh, we have an Instagram as well, which is a LifeBlink. And uh, if you do a search, there is no other LifeBlink on the, on the, the planet. So uh, if you do a search for us, you, you'll, you'll easily find us. And where can they find you if they want to, if they want to talk to you about stuff? I know, I know, because I, I've grilled you. I've grilled you, I think, pretty well. I mean, there's other things I can grow you on, but, it's, you know, I'll, we'll take it offline. But, um, um, no, but I mean, let's say people have questions for you about yeah. LifeBlink, you know, like, where can they find you online? Are you on Twitter? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm very easy to find. I mean, even though my last name's a, a pain to spell, but it's Dave Drugenti uh, on uh, Twitter. And if you need to email me directly, it's uh, Dave at LifeBlink.com. I try to keep it just to my first name because people can't spell Drugenti, which is yeah. G-I-R-G-E-N-T-I. <laughs> so, it's actually it's actually how you, besides the I, yeah, G Gergenti, it's into Gigenti. Yeah, it's like Gigenti, even though it's Gergenti. 
Yeah. A matter of fact, when I was in uh, Venice, the guy goes, you say your name wrong. It's not Giorgenti. It's Giorgenti. Giorgenti. Uh -huh. <laughs> they say Gir. Yeah, yeah. Giorgenti is what he always said. It. I, th I can't believe I've just been saying my name wrong for my whole life. You know, there so. you go. There you go. Well, thank you for being on the show. I'd like I to really also remind all of our audience that we are running a Patreon campaign. Go over to patreon.com slash phillytechorg, all one word. It's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash phillytechorg. Give what you can every month. Um, helps us out. Helps us get great people on like Dave here to talk about the Philly tech scene and people from around the, the globe really about what they're doing with startups and technology. So check that out as well. And um, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Seth. It was a great uh, show, and I, I'm a, a very